What do we got? Rappy Broadsword. Ugh, oh, compass again. Leather gloves are a really big pickup. City Watch with two handers. Sir. I love City Watch. <laughs> Don't love not having a two hander. Like a soul heart here. Ooh, this is a cool looking weapon. My stats are 2 3 1. Legendary while well, I chuck that thing on the ground. I think I'm gonna go bombs here. You think you want the level up? I want the bombs because we're guaranteed one secret room. And if it was in here, we would have been sad. Look, it paid off. Let's go. That is the tankiest. Like mini boss I've ever seen. Howdy, what's up, Dave? How's it going? Yeah, top right. I think I, I think it was top right. What do you want to do here? Minimal crit. We could just go resolute technique here. Just phase three grind. That's good to hear. I saw all you guys in there grind, and I was like, they're on their shit today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. So Resolute Technique is not the best, because you lose out on any interactions that are crit related, but it is the only thing here that actually increases our damage right now. Mmm. But we do have Ronin Hap. Mmm. <laughs> I wish I could see- I should have checked what was in this before I grabbed it. Mmm. -hmm. I think you still take Resolute Technique. I don't like it. It makes Ronin Hat useless. Let me make sure my foot pedal's on. One kill trigger here. That's pretty good. I'll only take this off. That weighs 15. Wow. One kill trigger on kind of that start effects. <laughs> Holding hands in the sleeping bag. I'm always really impressed with all the stuff they're trying out season a discovery like that or it's like we made this toy that's a buff they're like you did what oh that's big i don't really want to use a bomb on this but oh my god we found a brick wait it always crushes though i think brick's hilarious oh fishing i want it to be is this a ranged weapon oh my gosh if it's um the training grounds we can get a bunch of xp Oh, even better. I I didn't notice they all have different like expressions, like neutral, happy, like grumpy. Hey grumpy. Why can I just go in your house? Hey grumpy. Oh brave adventure. Will you take my offspring on a glorious adventure? <laughs> well, you, duh. That friendly mushroom hands you a smaller mushroom. Dude, let's go. I'll do accessory here just because I don't have much weight. A little bit of a scary start in terms of like I don't have as many interactions and synergies as I would like. Resolute technique kind of feels a little feast or famine at the start where you're like, ah, I'm giving up my crits, but like crits like one shot this early on. Not aggressive line. Yeah. Being short range here is kind of rough. At least my companion does poison, so like we're stacking up poison very slowly on the boss. This boss is actually really hard with the the extra fix that shoots out lightning bolts, because like. They're going in like a separate direction. So the electricity enchant was going to the like to 
of it, like rotating to the right, and then the green leaves were rotating down. Or sorry, it was up and down. I do lucky hit here. Ranged. You gave me range because I'm literally gonna chuck bricks at people. Oh, I should have just taken the brick out and started hucking bricks. Oven mitts are pretty OP for being this early on in the game. I feel like oven mitts used to be a common. Hmm. I might be crazy. Hmm. I'll take Rabbit Charm. If we take Rabbit Charm, there's a chance it starts showing us lucky hit related things, and then we win the run on the spot. And drink their brains, please. Take my offspring to do horrific acts. You're like, I'm on it. I think we chuck this brick because it's long range. No, it is a, it is a bunny charm. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna take consumables here in case we get something like, um... Zinc, protein. The ones that give you more stats. Like, when you get a stat, you get an extra bonus stat. Oh my gosh. Our pet- look how much he's stacking up poison! He's kicking ass! Ooh, nice. We got a calcium. In my mouth you go. Got a salad. We got a curse to spell. I need a new weapon. I really don't like it. Brick doesn't interact positively with Resolute Technique because it already crushes. Four lucky rabbit seed. Ooh. This weapon I have taken to the under runs. It looks so mundane, but it is so cool. I don't like State Crossbow because it shoots really slow. It does bonus. It does lethal damage to undead, which doesn't really help us. We're going to take Bomb going into the next room in case we find a secret room. Um, I think I'm taking double scythe. I've had and plus it's a two-hander and we have city watch So we're gonna just gain a flat 30% on non-bosses and 15 on bosses And it crushes and look at the range on that 96 to 202 Ooh. Perish Perish all right, I'm feeling pretty good now I was a little on edge and there's our secret Give me like a helm Ooh. Wait, is this, is this a joke? <laughs> I just took Resolute Technique. I can't do anything with this. I'll take a new shrine. I, I'd really like a key just to not restrict us in later rooms, but I'm still kind of on that new shrine grind. Yeah, I got Giga pranked. Good? Damage with not- <gasps> Oh! We can never crit. We have 0% crit because of Resolute Technique. This just reads, you do 10% more damage. Forever. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm in. Hmm, pawn shop. What would I sell? A brick? I'd sell three items. Let's go. Dude, you said it was going to be a legendary run. Double scythe? It's a plus two double scythe. Oh, man. This is legendary. I love double scythe. Mm. Sell all that. Take a sip. And then we'll do this for money and hopefully get a key. Now we are tough. Nice. Oh, it's just speaking about the prank ring? Yeah, that's true. I turned it into the prank money ring. Hmm. <laughs> Leather go gloves for being gray is just a free 10% attack speed, so I don't really feel like doing this. I'd rather just get something new. Dude, this mushroom is kicking so much ass. Because those Atoma, if you don't hit them for a few seconds, they start aggressively healing. They poison on them. So... They kind of got messed up. They kind of got cranked. What do you got for me? Ooh, of debuff stats effects. That actually does something. This actually does something. Prevents you from getting cursed and gives you money instead. That's huge. Gives you a free armor. Hmm. I'm leaning towards Battle Vest. It's really heavy, but so is this. Oh, wait. Oh. 
So we gain 20% damage just off this gray piece. That's crazy. I kind of just want to take the golden and just force, like, just feed money into our gullet. Because it stops the curse from happening and then just, like, throws, like, it steps on your toes and your mouth opens like a trash can and just dumps money into it. I guess where I'm going with, even though this is going to be really nice, but it's not, it's only going to increase my damage by, like, mmm. Um, 25 on top of that. It's not crazy. I'd rather, like, the 10% attack speed's pretty great. Versus just, like, a brand new effect. Mmm, I guess it's gonna be a good shop. Mmm, ooh. Magic find for five. Oh my gosh. These are both for five. Sure. That's a steal. I would like to get the two bombs here, but we need to start forcing some level ups from floor three. But and then there's three fire totems. Look at this wall they're shooting at me. Oh my god. Stop. I'm going to spaz. We have enough money to do some crazy stuff when we find the tavern here, so I'm not too concerned. Let's hope we find a curse. Oh, buddy. You're screwed. Oh. Give me helmet boots. Ooh. It looks really cool. Small concern holding it, though. It does bleed, so when we level up now, we're gonna see, like, bleeds and stuff. I don't really want the backup armor. I like what we have. Backup armor is like, in case everything went awful. Show me a tavern on the right side here. I've earned it. Force a level up? I might go this way because it's going to give us a lot of bombs. Or as it, it has a chance to be like six. Which would be awesome. Oh? There's cheese, three bombs. I can fully level up my weapon. What the heck is happening? I'm overwhelmed. There was more bombs in the tread. Oh, we have seven. What do we do? Eat the cheese off the ground like a regular person, right? Start eating salads. Bring you're bringing giggle luck. What is happening? Um, I guess I'm gonna fully upgrade this weapon because I want to carry everything with me. Holy. See what we got. I will say I saw the the gray text and I did think it was tavern, so I probably shouldn't have gone this way. So that's my bad. It worked out though here because I need twenty five dollars and this is cheap. I'm gonna buy this and just see what's in there. Could be more cheese. I can't see. Oh, it's a salad. Um, these are pretty useless now. I'd like to buy this. Get less booze. Hmm. Do you think we're ahead enough that I could just buy this anyways? It's free stats. I think we're ahead enough that we could just buy this and get a little less booze and then we'll make up for it on like floor six. Let's just get some fish and chips going. I'm okay with that. Give me, give me, ooh, rum. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try some little, little weird here. So I'm gonna drink two because we're kind of ahead on damage right now. And then we're gonna wait a few rooms and then drink again to try to extend how long we have buffs for because it's not gonna be until four six till we find another one. I like this. I like what we got going on here. Rank four, twenty percent damage here. If I pick, if I go in here and get Dex, it'll give me two Dex. It has B scaling on Dex. We're we're massive right now. We got City Watch, oh my lord. Got City Watch going on right now. They gave me the biggest nightmare room imaginable. Where I have to hunt these guys to the ends of the earth. They're Cupid enchanted, because why not? I'm coming. Got him. Huge. Oh, let's do, both are good. 
Boots are always like move speed related though. Well, maybe I'd like some move speed actually. Star Enchanted Lava. Oh, you're getting crushed, buddy. I took with that rum because I have this odd feeling it's going to start showing us lucky hit related things on level up because we have that rabbit charm. That was kind of the initial idea. The Giga Shock. The Conduit Greaves. Where you just light the room up. Just have to remember, I just gotta stay calm on this boss fight. It's like so much chaos, but it's really just like, just chill. Like, yeah, I can't hit the boss, but getting any closer is a little scary. Gotta be calm. Take it easy. Ooh. Mmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Those are the bleed effects I was talking about. Hmm. The Fire Fist Ace Gauntlets, eh? Hmm. This is what we're going to take, but I'm trying to see if I can reason out taking the other ones. This does increase our damage, but means we can carry heavy stuff. No mana. I kind of like this a lot better. Crushing on this is really good, though. Very slow. I like this because this thing double hits and does 60 to 140. So, oh, actually, it's only going to be 140 because of crushing. So you're adding like 50% more damage, and then that 140 happens twice. Really like that. I really, really like that. So, let's drop this because we're not gonna get cursed. Fire fist it up. All right, let's go. Our damage is disgusting right now. For floor four, it's disgusting. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Gross. I'd be willing to do this. I don't like. I don't like trading like this. Especially with strength. But I want to level up. Yeah, I was making foolish moves there. It's my bad. That thing's huge. The Robo Kool Aid, man. It's true. Ooh, grenade launcher's two handed. I see a path. Hmm. Flying Dragon sword, sword is, like, disgustingly powerful, though. I kind of just want to take Grenade Launcher for clearing out rooms. So, like, go like this. This. I want this just to clear out rooms. And then this for bosses, maybe. This actually... It's just we have Fire Fist. We have to be melee, so maybe that was a better choice. I just... I feel like... That thing is really strong. Vendors for a lot regardless. I see a secret on the left there. Hopefully there's something juicy. Ooh, you like that gold? I'm so happy that we have that necklace. It's free money. Best friends forever. <gasps> Best friends forever. Best friends forever and ever and ever. That's actually an insane amount of damage. It doesn't seem crazy until you think about 5 strength. We're going to gain 15 strength here because it's going to go up to plus 20. E scaling is 2.5% increased damage per strength. So it's 2.5 times 15. I think. So 2.5 times 15 is 37.5% increased damage. So by taking this, we're huge. Like it's more damage than both of these. Mm, maybe. Intuition's a little iffy. This is safer, though. And also, we could just find a different pet, too. So, 381 is my top end. 381 to 521. Ooh. 
Okay. <laughs> Alright. We got happy? Yeah, we're gonna start seeing some lucky related stuff here soon. Best friends forever. Yeah, look at that. That hit. Oh, oh, look at these numbers. 13, 14. I'm, I'm being lied to. It says 5, 2, 1. Why'd it hit for 13, 14? I, I guess I don't care. I'm really happy for us. But holy crap, are we, are we, we're, we're so strong. Yeah, forget this weapon. This thing's lame. Forget leather gloves. You're lame. Uh, I think right before boss, we'll take a sip of some rum. Okay. What the heck? Calcium? Zinc? Drink, drink. Order charm? Don't mind if I do. Can't even upgrade. Going this way is pointless. I get this insane imposter syndrome when I play this game because sometimes I feel like maybe things are going well because I'm like navigating the chaos really well and then there's other days I'm like maybe I just get really lucky and we've just somehow been lucky many times in a row because there's a lot of chaos but I'm like eh, it's working out we just figured out that like if we have the little mushroom pet we'll get BFF and then for some reason we're doing a million damage you damn well know we're taking the mushroom pet to floor 12 now. Hmm. Critical resistant, physical resistant, and totem enchanted. BFF and one pet is 300. I think you're right because this is the largest, <laughs> the largest lad. This mushroom pet is the size of a village. Ooh, this is, a really, this is a really good time to phase them, so you don't have these little bouncing Mickey Mouse ears going everywhere. This one always hits me. Oh yeah, we got hit on this floor. Leprechaun! Or we could become the Tailwind CSS lads. Hmm. Tailwind every second, eh? Hmm. I do like this set a lot. Leprechaun is probably a better pickup here. But, like, Tailwind. Tailwind's just safe because it's boots, necklace, and then you can just, like, wear anything else you want. But we just do Leprechaun and get the bonus lucky hit and luck stuff. Hmm. Okay. You did not show me... No, you showed me good. We do have to go good here. Hmm. What if we don't go good and we try to get a bunch of money, go to the tavern and get our plus two good there? We go to the law shop now because we could get bonus damage off this if there's something cheap in here. I think I like that. I'll try to spend money to get my last two goods. Oh my god, you showed me the worst shop imaginable. It's like two consumes I don't care about. Dog, you're ripping me off. And then it's an intel one. We don't have any intel scaling. And intel increases your crit and we can't crit. This guy sucks. We could just buy this for selling, I guess. It's only one soul more than this. I just want this for the 20% damage. Yeah, I wish I had... I have no dice right now. We've not been... I think I had one instance where I could have taken a dice and there was something better, but we have nothing. I got big scammed. Oh, Troubadour's in here. You know what that means. Mr. Nightmare's coming. Hmm. So we get zero crit from this. Zero into our mana. Well, maybe we get mana later. I just don't really want to key. I just want to keep leveling. I like... Don't. Oh, I guess we have a million strength now, so it's okay to go that way.
Ooh. That was pure response. I was just hold so I was holding up here and staring in the middle, and then I saw the the quarter note coming at me and I just let go. I was scared. Interesting. This is the first time I've seen a cellar in a long time. It could be locked in here, which is unfortunate if it is. Ooh. So we're in a situation. I can't really buy anything in here. Buying anything in here is going to give me one evil, and then we can't get our plus four good. It's just one. I don't know how I'm going to make it up, though, because if we never see a good shop... I've had this happen before where I got to plus two good, went, okay, I can make three up because you can get two from the tavern, and then I never saw another good shop, and then I went to floor 11, and I didn't see a shop, and I had plus three going into floor 12, and I was just screwed. It, like, the game still considers that a win, but, like, I was sad. There isn't anything in, in here I really want besides the dice, but... I like knowing... I'm going to make it to floor 12. We're playing for like the endless mode, which is maybe not the smartest. I'm counting floor 11 and 12 endless mode in this case, because you don't have to clear them. They don't really do anything. Could have more buddies. So if we got an extra buddy. Hmm. Okay, so first off, we always crush. So if we take this, you get one extra guy, it goes down to 15, but you have two, you gain 10 strength. I kind of just want to take Rage here. I'm going to take Rage. You could make an argument for the other thing. Sure. I'll check shop, I guess. I don't feel like opening a chest. Ooh, hello. You want to give me a full heart for $31 dues, huh? I know I said I wanted a bunch of money, but look at this shop. I have a rage emote. That's a pretty good emote. I'm going to buy everything. We're just going to make the money up. I think I'm going to go this way and like bomb it, I guess. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> See the f a flaw here. Let's check this first. Ooh, a maid outfit, you say? Periodically charms all enemies in the room. It does more than this. Actually, no, it doesn't, because we're close range, so we don't really get this effect. I'm going to take it with, because it sells for a lot. And I don't... If, if we find the, the whole set, well, fine, I'll wear it. And I also forgot to drink my booze last floor, so that's my bad. Ugh. Elementalist robe is pretty good. Cycle through, increase. Oh, it's the it's the Elementalist version. I don't like this version. I like the one that just gives you a small buff every so often versus doubling one of the many types. Oh my gosh, we do so much damage. Thank you. Thank you for the bombs. It is going to be Troubadour. Mystic Robe, is, the, is that the name of the... It's like an... It's an uncommon, but I like it better than this rare version of the Elementalist. Even though this doubles one of the types and kind of rotates through, I just like having access to a bunch of different buffs. Like, all the ailments you get from the other one are kind of nice. Also, the other one almost single-handedly will engage Harmony. If you just have one other buff or one other Elemental type... Mystic Robes will allow you to have Harmony, which is insane. Mystic Robes, I agree with that statement. It is better. Unless you're like... I think this is maybe stronger, but more niche. Whereas Mystic Robes, you just put it on and you just feel great. I'm going back to the safe zone. I can crank damage on this guy. <laughs> Give me something good. Ooh, which one's that? Oh, it's here! Oh 
my. What is today? Wait, it's Critical Thursday? I have Resolute Technique. <laughs> No. Your critical chance is zero, but it's critical Thursday. What if I put it on and it's, it lets us crit? I'm going to try it. I want this in my inventory. And if it works, it's going to go uh, crazy. But if it doesn't, uh, we just get over it. The only thing I'd really take here, I don't like this because it's based on revive. Revive. This is good because we have rage, so we're, this is just 40% move speed. Top tier. Let's try this out though. There's a chance. There's, there's a chance. You tell me there's a chance. Because some things say add 100%, but maybe it means you always crit. Oh, we don't have a... Don't have a key. No, it's not working. Oh, I'm sad. <sighs> also, when we have crushing crits, we don't. It's okay, I'm only really sad instead of minor sad. I'm only inconsolable. We could always roll Resolute Technique, I guess. Not now, but maybe one day. We need to find more money before we run into the shop here. There's a chance we're screwed. Or a tavern. Ooh, perfect. Oh, so I have bomb on foot pedal and I accidentally hit it. Beetle armor. Ooh. Ooh, no, wait, that's bad. So we get two more companions. Which goes up to three. This is only going to give us ten strength. But these guys are individually going to give us 20 damage? Maybe that's fine. Let me check. So we gained 40% damage, lost 10 strength, but we only have E state scaling on strength. That's 2.5. So we lost 25 damage here. So we lost 25 damage in strength, but gained 40 in melee damage. Okay, that's a, that's a gain of 15, essentially. Albeit strength does other things. No, strength baseline also gives you damage. It's not just scaling. Okay, it's like it's like even. <laughs> I think we actually broke even there. I'm having a problem. Ooh, that changed me. Don't you lose five? Five from. So, I know one point of strength, regardless of scaling, always gives you 1% damage. So by losing 10 strength, we lose 10 from just strength being a strength stat, not necessarily scaling. And then we have E scaling, so that's 2.5% damage per strength. So we're going to do 2.5 times 10, so there's 25. We're losing 10 baseline. So... 25 plus 10, so that's 35 overall, and then add in the carry capacity, so we're losing... Yeah, so yeah, it's going to be 35 loss in terms of putting this on. And then you gain... So just by doing that, it's minus 35. And then you're gaining 40 melee damage, so you're up 5. Because this is 40. Oh, wait, I'm thinking... Wait, isn't it giving you 2? Okay, so these aren't out yet. 
So the reason this says 40 is because it's not attuned. So two of these would come out. It would say plus 20 melee damage for one, plus 20 melee damage for the other. Once these both come out. So there's 40 melee damage there. With this off, this gives you an extra 35% damage. So by putting this on, you get a difference of, you gain 5% damage. Which I don't care about. I'm trying to think if I'd like the money versus them. I might just keep this because they also do a little bit of damage. Like, they go around and start punching. I have two beetles that start punching people, and if we get Brawler, it's more damage. So I might do this. We don't really need carrying capacity. We have, we have 100 to work with. I'm really sad selling this. Uh, but yeah, we're going to keep the beetle. Like I go to 126. I will say if we do find a better weapon with better scaling, then yes. We should get rid of the beetle. <laughs> nice pickup. What you got for me? You. Okay, we gotta buy a bunch of stuff here. Oh. You have rum. You do not. I don't care. Let's roll. Let's roll a few times. Try to find those goods. I only care about the goods here and then just buy a beer and stuff. There they are. You. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Here, here's a tip. It's yours. Do you have rum? You do not. Hmm. When that gets attuned, we get an armor back. Let's try to get dice here for a lawful. Oh, dude, what's up, Ao? Who do we get? We have. All right, one second. Um, I think I'm okay with happy. We're so far ahead in damage. I'm kind of hoping the level ups. We have city watch. We have soldier. I got a double scythe, and we're we are really far ahead on damage right now. There's Mr. Dice Guy. We have an order charm. Two. But I'm already plus four good. But the order charm, we just kind of got out of a blood chest. So we're chilling. I just like this with just because. I don't like either of these right now. I would do an obsidian chest, I think. Hmm. Would I? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, we're so strong. <laughs> We gain 10% from the order charm. And I drank like two beers, I think, or three? I don't know, we gain a lot. A Necro Torch. That's big if we get Titan's Grip, because it double hits. Okay. Oh, Ao, we got Lilith's Legacy. But it's, it's all critical Thursday. I took Resolute Technique first. I had to vendor it. We all cried. I was definitely crying the loudest, though. <laughs> I was definitely ugly crying. I was ugly weeping. Ugly mourning. Dude, you need a... He shot his missiles from different locations. You're cheating. I have to like dash at this guy. There we go. Got curse day. Oh no. Ugh. Oh, these aren't good. Why you show me burn? I guess we have fire fist. That's why. You're showing me necrotic because we have a necrotic offhand, and you're showing me this because you're funny? These are really bad. 
I guess you could pick that up in the off chance you find... Uh, like, transcendence into... Fairy resin into, like... I, I don't know. I'm gonna go this way in case we see um, Emblem of Bayamod, and let's say it's gonna be in here, and it's gonna be in the middle. Damn. Sometimes you gotta call your shots. You might get lucky, and if you do, everyone loses their mind. Oh, get rid of my damage to undead here. Give me a mana crystal, just because there's a chance we can make some sort of magic. We got a lot of levels to play with right now. I like seeing the numbers being extremely consistent. It's 2115, 2115, 2115, 2115. Like, damn right. Give me my crushed hits all day, buddy. Oh, in this room, they're somehow resistant to slashing damage. New to me. I got so distracted by all the lights going off, I actually didn't know where to dodge. <laughs> I actually got stun logged, IRL. I didn't know where to go. I was like, uh, it might be safest to not move, and then there was one extra explosion that was near me. Like, my eyesight was here and here, and the explosion was here. Unlucky. Mm, lose strength? Sure. Mm, maybe not, actually. I'm getting kind of sick of losing strength. Show me something good. Spellblade's pretty good. Hmm, we can't go Ancestral Aid. That would, that would kill BFF. And I can't do that to Mr. Red Cap Shroom Companions. Hmm, can't do it to him. I could do Spellblade. So you do Spellblade, and then melee weapons drain mana. You could put on Warlock Hat, and then you could put on... So that's a direction I didn't consider. I didn't consider a spell blade on level up. Roll em? No roll em, Fox. It's spell blade time. I'm magical today. <laughs> I'm seeing the motion of the world right now, and the motion was it gave me a mana charm, it showed me warlock hood, and now it showed me spell blade. I don't have a choice. It wants me to have 36% attack speed. He wants me to attack at just insane speeds. I'll take that with just in case, I think. It might show us steady strikes on level up because we're getting so much attack speed. These, these like golems are getting real close to me. I do not like it. And then we also get Mana Flux now, so our attack speed is disgusting. Ooh, we could just become Santa, too. Mm, I don't really like it, the situation we're in. I don't, I don't think it's Santa weather. There's a chance if we go in that cellar, we're screwed. I think we have to take the risk, because it's fun. We're not screwed. That's actually a huge pickup. These always have some good stuff in them. Is that debuffs? No. Debuffs pretty good. Me carrying around only booze. Yeah. Isn't I always feel like tunic is supposed to be a reference to PoE, like Path of Exile, because there's like a base tunic that just has a bunch of slots in it. What do we give up here? Is it late enough to give up magic find, you think? I think so. I know that's like forbidden insanity stuff, but 
just how I feel today. I need like, yeah, I was gonna say, oh, but three dexed, it's three dexed. Oh. I think you have to go this way because it's a lot of damage, attack speed and move speed, even though the next room is probably going to have a hidden room in it and I can't open it, but just gaining that much damage is always good. That's how you stay strong. Do not have boots. It's Phoenix. One explosion, I was like, I need to save my dashes to get out, and it was not great. Hmm. Here's on dash lightning boots. Which ones are these? Ooh. We have 32 dexterity, so we have a 48% chance to repeat. I'm taking that instead. These boots are great, but I don't have any dash enablers where we could essentially just double our damage 48% of the time. Yeah, let's do that. Lightning? Not today. Look at this! We're gonna be attacking so fast. Because we have Rage for 40% attack speed. This is more attack speed. We can buy another Mana Crystal for more attack speed. Oh lord. What is happening? We're so fast. What do you got for me? Um, dexterity scaling. Let's chill. I don't know what I have that chills. Maximum attack is The only thing that does something here is dex scaling, and it's actually pretty good. So it's going to be a quarter times 32. Or point two. Yeah, one over four times 32. I need keys. Bombs, you know? Oh lord. Can't go in there. Just give me just give me the, the chink. Pawn shot. One, two. Possibly three. Just do one. Just do, yeah, just do two. Keep all my consumes on me. <laughs> Not ideal. Um, just go this way. I like consumables. Not in the mood to lose some hearts. I used my double dashes, so I got hit. Yeah, sometimes you uh, get played because yeah, you weren't thinking properly. Dice. I don't see end of the four after this. That was the only issue. We got one more. Ooh, this could be a trap. This is either the greatest event ever, or it's the one that enchants your weapon, and we have an uncommon weapon, so it's not gonna work. Ooh, no curses forever. Sure. You feel the goddess is only shining upon the path ahead of you. No more curse rooms will appear. Mm, does that also mean you stop getting cursed rewards? Like, will it be the big reward? Maybe that's not as good. I just thought of that. I was like, wait a dang second. Wait a gosh. I want to set here. I, I do want to finish the Leprechaun set. I know we need boots, but I'm really looking forward to the Leprechaun set.
That was very chaotic. <laughs> Uh, in plus 100 critical hit chance, I do not think that works. Because it doesn't say guaranteed crit, it says adds 100 onto it, but this just forces it to zero. It, you're so right with that, because like... The difference in skill when you get like one of them behind... Or like not even skill, just like the bullshit they do is so wildly different. I will say they both look really damn cool though. Swords with hit. This is not a sword, it's a scythe. That should be a double sword. These are just not what I'm looking for, and I can't roll. I guess you could do this is only with range too. We don't even have a ranged weapon. I don't want to pick up these. We don't have a gold dice. Ugh. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I don't want to pick these up because I don't want to see this set. I don't want to see this set. I don't want to see this set. You could like, if we had Grenadier, I'd pick this set up. But I don't, so I'm just going to do this. Uh, let's see. Maybe we find... I don't know. No, we already don't have curses anymore in the game. Ugh, that's funny. We can't crit, so that's useless. Yeah, unfortunate. That's what happens when you get hit on the floor. I had to play a little cleaner. I kind of want to buy a stamina so we can kind of force ourselves to play cleaner. Strength and lose an intel? Yeah, I'll have a glizzy. I think you have to go left here, just because if it has bombs in it, it kind of opens up more like uh, directions we can go. I want to dash up, I dash down, then I had to dash up. Ooh, an epic weapon. Ah, oh, necrotic, imp dagger. Based on how evil you are, well, we're not evil at all. There's the explosion damage. Ooh, maybe we should have picked up the other shot. Ooh. Oh wait, wasn't the set bonus literally just reads... Your explosion damage always crushes, but we all, we already always crushed, so that's irrelevant. I think if anything, you just pick this up. Maybe we should have picked up the mark set. I just kind of thought we were stuck with melee related things. Spellblade stops being useful and we we don't have any evils. So this is really bad. So I'll just pick this up to put here because it looks really freaking cool. Uh, it, it feels cool. It might not be cool. Oh, runs over. We can maybe try to find interactions for Swagger because it guarantees a critical hit. So you could like do something cool. But if you always crush, you're just constantly shooting this extra damage. That flat amount is like getting an extra full attack in constantly. Repeat attacks have double a critical hit multiple and just repeat your next attack. Hmm. They can't crit. I would like to roll because we have a million rolls. It's just this is so strong. This is so disgusting. Disgustingly strong. Like, what do we have going on? We have Spellblade Bone Crusher. Like, we are gross. <gasps> Leprechaun! And we can actually switch back to. We can actually go in this direction now because all of our. Like, we, we only lose 5% by making the swap. Then we get all that luck. Which means these might update, upgrade more. Actually, no, maybe. I had to think about it for a bit. I kind of like just having two extra bodies. I guess things can upgrade. The armor is already broken on this. It doesn't really matter.
think I think we can keep it. I don't even want to go down there. There's a chance it's just like the most horrific thing imaginable. Not horrific, actually. I do kind of want to enchant this. Like, Lucky's great. We don't have any interactions with it, so why don't we just get something else? Could be chilling. Arcane? Burning. I'll take burning. I know it's not much, but... Ooh. Ooh. Adds a little bit of damage. You'd have to put this on. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, I don't think it's worth it at all. I don't like any of this. I think I made some silly mistakes there. Ooh, nope. It's all fine. Like, I could wear this set, but then you have to give up these gloves and the little bit of necrotic damage, even though it scales out of control. It doesn't... You don't have enough mana stars to overcome the 60 to 140 from this. If we had... If we had Titan's Grip and then I added this necrotic damage and that necrotic damage got it multiplied by 20%, then I'd be like, yeah. I didn't consider that. I think we're locked in. This is, this is us from here on out. Huge buffs. Huge damn. Bone Crusher. Bone Saw. I just... I don't want to lose a strength. That's the problem. Bone Saw. Much, like we have a disgusting amount of attack speed. Those are 20 strength boots. The boots of champions. Praetor set, mana tech boots, panda mask. Love it. If we had a lucky hit, maybe, but then you gotta stop being a leprechaun. We're literally only wearing the leprechaun set because luck might upgrade room, room rewards. So I honestly wish I could just wear like Praetor. I really should just be wearing this. But we'll take this because it's going to be 2.5. Well, first off, it's, you gain 20 damage, 20% 20 damage from just strength being strength. And then from the scaling, it's 2.5 times 20. So we are gigantic. And now on level up, if we get overwhelming burden, overwhelming presence, overwhelming presence, which is like your carry capacity above 100, it makes your buffs bigger. This will get multiplied. Mm, that's it. <laughs> yeah, we are gigantic. The largest lads right now. Just not paying attention to where that one was going. Probably because this guy teleported and I saw it go this way and then had to follow back. Hey, luck went off. Let's go. It's big. It's a lot of damage for that luck going off. Because we also have protein. Strength is our highest stat now, which is kind of weird. We are getting hit so much, and I feel so bad about it. It's a warm-up game, though. Let's be real. It's our warm-up. One point two five, and then one percent. Oh, we're in diminishing returns. 
I forgot, past like a certain amount, there is diminishing returns. Mm. That's where we're at. That's fine. I'm not mad. I'm just furious. There's Titan's Grip. Lucky hits are super effective and grant cheap shot. Grant 100% increased trigger damage, lasts 4 seconds. That would buff... A U and yeah, that's it. Is it bad? I actually kind of like that. Well, you don't have to talk at all. Just hanging out is all you have to do. Just hanging out. We're all just hanging out. Mm. Yeah, Titan Grip would give me this. I'm leaning towards cheap shot right now because we are shooting these off. Yeah, I just don't think it adds as much damage as I think because it's going to add 11 and a quarter. You times that by 20, it's up to like 14. We have three mana stars, so it's 14 times three. I don't know. It's just not that much. It's 14 times three times 20. Add this on. Add 180 times 20%. So you're what, at like 250 or something? Whereas this alone, our lucky hits 45. That means each time we hit, which is always crushing, it's like half the time you're going to do 25% more damage on a hit. And when you double your trigger damage, this thing goes from 6829 to 6829 times 2. So... And this goes off constantly, so you're just gaining nearly 7,000 damage every attack, not including whenever the lucky hit super effective goes off, so you gain like 6,000 and it AoEs. So that's why I kind of want Cheap Shot. Like, I'm, I'm leaning towards Cheap Shot because we're going to instantly clear every single room, whereas this just adds a little bit of flat damage. I'm okay just giving up on the Warlock set and just doing an extra 6,000, so that's where I'm gonna go. I wouldn't say I'm the expert, I just like numbers. <laughs> yeah, because like, you see how many we shoot out? Because we, we have 100%, ooh. Okay, see, I, I don't know, now I'm like, after we just went through that, I'm like, I don't have very mana many mana crystals, and now it's showing me more mana crystals. Yeah. Yeah, just each of those AoE, like, yeah, we just, we're just a little too strong, I think. A little too big. Yeah, each of these bones is killing entire rooms. Oh my gosh. No. Well, not really even. I like this better. We get 0% crit from this. But mana, increased stats from mana? That means this would go up. Nah, let's just get the dopamine. Oh. <laughs> Can I just throw one thing at him? Wow. Yeah, you messed up, buddy. That is one of my favorite weapons. Yeah, Bone Crusher is just... Yeah, I saw one of those Bone Crushers hit for 15,000. Ooh. If we get trigger damage here, it's over. Boss reward. You could do repeat damage because we have a 60% chance to repeat. It's not great. It's better than the other ones. I actually really... Ooh. So what I'm thinking is this is the last time we're ever going to get dexterity because our highest is strength. So in the floor 11 and 12, you only get your highest stats. So that's our last dex we're ever going to get. It's our last repeat. I'll take a legendary. There isn't many legendaries I would take is the problem. Our, our, our whole setup is a little goofy in terms of... I don't have synergy, I just have raw damage. Oh. He's just dead. <laughs> Can you die before you even get to your... Oh. I think we're a little strong. <laughs> hmm. Just like... Ooh, that's big. Ah. Uh... No. 
I can't make use of like three of these effects. It'd be cool to be on Ruthless and crits are cool. <laughs> you think? I'm thinking we're tough. Could you give up? What do we give up here? Give up Lucky maybe? We have so much Lucky that I don't really care. How much does it go down by if we do this? Still at 37.5 insane attack speed. We might be getting maximum amount of triggers of this already. Uh, let's see what goes up to. You gain like 200 damage. I think it's your weapon upgrade level determines when... I, I don't know if this is correct. I, the way I interpreted what I read, though, is your weapon upgrade level determines when you start hitting diminishing returns. It's like weapon upgrade level times 10. So now that we're at 5, it's f anything after 50 stats is diminishing returns. But it could also have been upgrade level, which I'm really hoping... Or not upgrade level, like rarity. If it's rarity, I'm going to cry. Because I'm, I'm very used to or like I like my rares and uncommons is what I'm saying I'm a rare and uncommon kind of guy because I really didn't see an epic I like this whole run like we found demon machine but demon machine is sad Golden Cherries is big because it's going to increase the damage of Own Crusher. Right now is actually most of our damage. If not all of it. Mmm, yeah, it's pretty good. Ugh. I don't want. Big. I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. What could be in there? Nothing. Nothing. Bone Crusher. Give me some curse. Maximum Tipsy's big. Maximum Tipsy's pretty nice. Because if we drink Rape for the Boss Room, I think we'll have all six Tipsy going into Eden. I think. I think. Just with the way it ticks down. Ooh. That is an incredible amount of stats, but now I just like the lucky hit for uh, other reasons. Oh, you lose it in two rooms. So can we go in here and take a sip then? Like, do you drink here or do you drink in the next room? Because I think it only ticks down at the end of rooms, so we can drink now. So drink now, goes up, and then we it should say zero rooms remaining when we get to Eden, and guaranteed we'll have enough rooms if we find any event room, like a shop or something. Wow. run today. Oh, we just picked up a mana crystal. I have an idea. It's a bad idea, but walk with me on this one. <laughs> it's a really bad idea. Yeah, the bones shredded Bayamont. 
We're gonna try this for like a quarter of a room. I just want to see this go off a couple times. Unlucky hit with a bow or crossbow trigger a beam of light that deals one metric ass ton of damage. And then that metric ass ton of damage gets buffed by cheap shot because it increases trigger damage and lasts four seconds by 100%. So then this gets doubled. So I'm gonna see. Problem is this, this is gonna shoot really slow. The upside is it's long range, so I don't have to get in. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. It. It ain't it because it attacks too slow to really take advantage of your infinitely, like, just, there's no internal cooldown, it seems at least, on Bone Crusher. Like, it doesn't say every 0.1 seconds or 0.2 seconds. So it's just however fast you can attack. Oh. Uh, who's left? Trigger damage? Boss rewards. Effect infusions. I'll do that. It's a little bit of damage. They just died through whatever shield effect they had on them. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I'll get a blessing. I think regular blood or er, shrines are the ones that have trigger damage. Like, could be wrong. Curse shrines are the ones that have like radiant damage and dark damage and scalings. Trigger damage? Oh, trigger damage, it is. Yo. And it's companion damage, not stats, so I don't care. We want triggered damage. That's gonna make Bone Crusher hit like a truck. Yeah, it's 11,866. 11,866. And then double the base amount, which I don't even know what the base amount is anymore. I've been buffing it so much. Oh, I didn't have the buff still. Oh, I did. Oh, that was the buffed amount. So the cheap shot version was in the 11,000s. The base amount's 8528. Still adds a lot. It's still insane because it is literally uncapped speed. I'm gonna buy a mana crystal here from our attack speed because we have Spellblade. Yeah. You are fire resistant, glaive enchanted, and totem. Okay. It's no big deal. Except you spawned a totem at um, Check's Watch minus one seconds. Which is kind of a pretty messed up move. Nice. We phased before she went middle. So she might go. She might skip her phase where it's like just go in a circle. Yep. Skipped it. All my bones are missing. Go mid, please. Whew. That's a lot of damage. We took the red mushroom pin on an adventure again. We just finished a run wearing the Leprechaun set where I didn't actually take advantage of Lucky outside of... Dude, cheap shot. That's a new one to me. No Blessed Hammer. No any of that. 